So full flexible, right? That's what you want to know. How yes. It works. Yeah. What exactly you can do with it in yeah. the outriggers in various positions? What the okay. what the parameters are? Yeah. Okay. And this is on the 28 meter. Yeah. So on okay. the 28 meter, the 47 meter, and the 56 meter, there'll be our first three models with full flexible support. So normally, on your outrigger tubes, there's a reinforcement in the corner, like you see here. And it needs to be all the way out or all the way in before you load it. Right. Um, on full flexible, any outrigger extension box can stop anywhere in its full length of travel. So you can stop this outrigger anywhere along here, and you can stop this box anywhere along here. And that's because it's so much thicker and yeah, heavier on the and top. The structure there. will handle it. And on the 47 and 56, instead of a reinforcing plate in the corner, it's actually a triangular shaped plate that comes down so that it's and the bottom of the box is reinforced okay. so you can stop them anywhere. Um, on the inside of this outrigger tube, there's a pulley with a sensor and there's a rope that comes out of it spring loaded and that detects how far out this outrigger is. On the back outriggers that swivel, so maybe take a look at the swivel pin there. On the top of the swivel pin, there would be a sensor to show how far the outrigger is. Okay, yeah, so it's like a like an angle sensor just on yeah. the on the top side. So, so it's on, how yeah, far it's sit up yeah. there and it just knows how far out that outrigger is. Okay. Um, and so then that system, um, the operator would say, I want to choose to use integrated stability assist on your remote. Um, it'll ask you, are your wheels off the ground? Um, because that's important. It relies on the axles. And do they weight. want them right off the they, ground they, or, or they, just they, deloaded? They, they can be touching, but they want them right off. Okay, the so like light contact with yeah. the ground. Okay. Yep, and then. Uh, and at that point, on your remote control, a graphic will pop up, and I can send you the graphic, what it looks like. Okay. Um, but it is a circle with your boom. It shows where your outriggers are, so you can visually verify on your screen that it's roughly what's going on. And then there's a green triangle or green shape that shows you what your range is compared to what full range is. Okay. So, and then it also shows a distance to no more outward travel. So when you're boomed right in, it'll tell you that you have 20 meters of range to boom out. And as you boom out, it'll that range counts down to zero. As soon as you hit zero, you cannot extend anymore. You can only retract. So along again. with the green, the, the graph, the shaded graph, it'll actually give you a number for the meters of reach based on where yeah. those outriggers are positioned. Exactly. And so when you set up and you put your outriggers down, before you take your boom out of the cradle, you can get a tape measure to figure out where you need to reach and you'll know if you can reach it. Okay. And so you don't actually have to put the outriggers out at all. We even have zero position, straight down all four corners. And on a 47, you get about 60 feet of reach at certain ranges with the outriggers all the way in. In. All four just in and yeah, just drop down, down and you get about yeah. 60 feet. And I can text you the video of that wow. as well. Um, so the nice thing is, is on a bigger boom, like a 56, if a guy orders a 38, you can send a 56, put the outriggers out as far as a 38, but you actually have more reach than a 38 would because the truck is heavier as counterweight. Oh, okay. So you can reach like a 42 with the outrigger spread of a 38. Really? Yeah. And so on the Putzmeister 56, if you put the outriggers out as far as a Liebherr 50, you have 52 meters of reach. So it eliminates the need for the swinging front outriggers to get range over the cab when you right. can't get the opposite outrigger out because you actually have range everywhere, just less. We love those outriggers, but the only thing that we found with them is they're very uh, maintenance intensive yeah. and they're heavy. Yeah, exactly. So you can achieve the same thing without having all the uh, added complexity of those, those yep. slewing outriggers. Yeah, and then the nice thing about that whole system is people say, well, salt and it's gonna break or whatever else. If it breaks, don't use it. Put your outriggers all the way out and use it like a normal boom pump. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're so not dead your, in the water. Yeah, so that's your default. To go back. So when you're setting up, as you're telescoping those outriggers out, does that graph on the remote actually grow in size in real time as you're doing that? Um, I don't know about real time. I think, uh, so the, the version we looked at in Germany has more sensors on it because that's a mandatory system there. So it actually has a sensor on each axle that knows if it's off the ground. 
and it has a pressure sensor in each outrigger that knows that the outrigger is down and loaded. Okay. And so then you turn the system on and the graphic pops up. So I don't know if it changes shape as you do it. Yeah. I think it's basically when you go from outrigger into boom, it calculates where everything is and gives you your graphic. So for instance, on the 28 meter, just putting the outrigger feet down with the legs fully retracted, what's the range on this one? Um, it's equal to the tip three sections. Usually. And that's and that's a three three sixty working range. Uh, typically, and so I mean, they said in general, if you have your A section straight up, you can put your outrigger straight down, and that's roughly the range. But it varies. So, okay. Um, and the other thing that they recommend too is that you leave all your heavy main and B section in tight because then they act as counterweight. And you right. Use your tip sections, your range actually doubles. If you used your A and B and kept your tip sections folded up, yeah. you would have far less reach than if you leave A and B folded up and use your tip sections. Oh, okay, yeah, because all, all the weight is in those yeah. those big, heavy first sections. Yeah, and they're still inside the outrigger. Right. You know, offering stability instead of taking away from it. Okay. Yeah, so it's a, I mean, with the 4756, it's a bit of a game changer because you can now utilize your big booms as small booms with the outriggers part. When you don't need eight different pump sizes yeah. now, you can achieve the same thing with two, three, four different pump sizes, so. Yeah. Good stuff, there you go, there you have it. Innovative stuff, we call it. Excellent, thank you for your time, sir. No problem, thank you.